Hi again, thanks for joining me again uh, today. And uh, thanks for your patience, thanks for your forbearance, and thanks for your reflections. Please go on talking to me about what you think these scriptures are saying, uh, particularly if you disagree with me or if there's something else that I've not mentioned that you want to draw out. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 19, surprisingly, follows on from verse 18, 17, which we looked at yesterday. We were talking about the futility of thinking of those who are removed from God's uh, will. And verse 19 says this, having lost all sensitivity, they've given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity, and they are full of greed. It's been said by many people many times that we all, every single human being, carries a God-shaped hole. And uh, it's, uh, there are a whole variety of things that we might fill that yearning, that gap in our lives with. Many of us, of course, choose to uh, accept the Lordship of Jesus Christ and we come to God through him. But others will try and fill the void in their lives with other things that look attractive, that feel good. And that's what Paul, I think, is getting at here in talking about sensuality, every kind of impurity and greed. We might um, decide that we would be so much happier if we um, ate more or ate more, um, more generously, more, more wealthily. We might decide that we could have more fulfillment if we uh, gave in to feelings of sensuality, to a desire to um, seek a, a much more active sex life than, than perhaps um, is good for us. There, there are all sorts of different things that we might try and um, fill our lives with in the absence of God's way. But what Paul is saying is that that is all part of the futile way of thinking that we looked at yesterday. And as Jesus people, as children of the living God, then we really can't afford to give ourselves over to all these temptations, but instead to give ourselves to God to trust in him, to seek our fulfillment, our satisfaction, uh, our love and contentment from him. Uh, Jesus uh, taught us that we can gain everything that we need and indeed desire only from a relationship with God through him. And that's what we should pursue. That's what we can pursue because of all that Christ has done for us. Uh, and so let's not, again, as I mentioned yesterday, let's not be like the, the Gentiles, those who have decided that they know a better way of living, but um, let's accept that God is the way and God has the very best way for us to live. He is the only one who can adequately uh, fulfill that yearning, fill that gap in our lives. Let me pray. Father, thank you that uh, you are the one who is shaped perfectly to fill the God shaped hole inside us. It sounds obvious, but it's true because while we try and fit all sorts of other things into that yearning, only you can truly satisfy. Help us to know that even when we feel dissatisfied. Help us to appreciate that and help us to delight in it. Pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Uh, have a good day and see you, uh, see you tomorrow. I hope. Take care.